Alright, so, I'm going to leave my ferret, he actually leads off his ferret as well, and I do, do see that he has the choice back, so that means I can have speed, so I just go, decided to go for the U-turn uh, straight away on the first turn, but I thought we wanted to go for the double S, so I decided to go into my losing turn, but he decided to go for the U-turn, so that kind of sucks for me, because now this thing is almost dead, but either way, he goes into this thing now, and I'm pretty sure uh, my Cedra can take it on, because Cedra uh, does resist this thing's stab, and I'm pretty sure Return or World Charge won't do too much, because uh, this thing is an absolute physically expensive beast, but it turns out his, this guy's been stabbed uh, Return, so it only does one damage, and now I decided to go into my, uh, into my ferret pretty and switch into something. But either way, now I can just go uh, for the double edge, trying to hurt something, but it doesn't actually do that much to the Lux Rake, so obviously I am minus one, so I'm going to have to switch out now, uh, because Volplume could take on one of these things stabs. Either way, e even though it does crit with a uh, super power, it still doesn't do that much, so it's all good. But either way, I decided to go for the Surge Bomb here, just uh, on the Ibis, so it doesn't really do that much, so I just decided to switch out. Go to this thing Sleep Fodder, because uh, this is probably the best Sleep Fodder I have, because it's pretty weak, useless for my team, and I decided to go to my Ferret, and now I can just start spamming double edges again, but I'm pretty sure he's going to want to switch out into his Clang this time, so I decided to go for the uh, U-turn. And that works out because I just could just U-turn off this thing, get the um, initiative on it, and I decided to go into my artillery. Go for the hidden power electric, thinking the Polypa might want to come in predicting the obvious fire blast, but that doesn't happen. Now I can just go for the fire blast on this thing because his return still doesn't do anything, and I can resist his main stab, so yeah. But either way, he goes into this, back into this thing, I really don't want to take a double edge, so I decided to go into this thing as death follow basically. And he doesn't actually go for the U-turn, so that's fine because now I have initiative on him because he's forced something, something out, and I can send the appropriate check for that. So I decided to go to my Nidorino and go for a poison jab um, because I'm pretty sure I can set up on this thing later in the game. But he actually goes to the uh, sleep powder, which is pretty horrible because that means I won't be able to sell it. So I decided to go into my fold plume, go for the aromatherapy, get get the sleep off of my Nidorino, and that means uh, I can leave this thing as sleep folder because I don't need it really anymore. I can wall this thing a bit, but if if I can just get my Nidorino in, um, I can just set up a load of home claws on this thing because this thing is only attacking moves seems to be sludge bomb so far, and I obviously and obviously Nidorino and resist that. But I go into my Nidorino now as he goes into his clamp I decide to go for the poison jab, it easily one shots the clamp and now I can just start setting up. Um, but um, he actually goes into the dark spray. I thought the sucker punch would do a lot. But it misses, but now it will. No, it doesn't miss it, uh, doesn't affect anything. So switch out, but either way, I can start setting up on this Ivysaur now because uh, obviously you can't do anything to me. And I, I get uh, managed to get to, I think, plus two with home claws now, so I just go for the poison jab. And it actually does uh, manage to kill that Flipper, which is cool. And now he goes back into this thing. I just decided to go for the Sucker Punch, hoping it will kill. It actually does manage to kill, which is really awesome. And now he goes into his Ivysaur again, I believe. I just decided to go for the poison jab, and now I can just go for the home claws um, because I'm pretty sure he's going to want to go for another census. And so that does work out for me because I, can get, I get the free home claws. Up. And now I can just go for another hope, uh, for another poison jab, but it doesn't quite manage to kill, and he managed to kill me off with a sludge bomb. But it's okay, because I can go to my ferret, kill the thing with double edge, and then uh, he'll be forced to go to his ferret, which is his last guy, and then he'll be forced to lock himself into double edge because I'm going to kill myself off with Ruko and, and not manage to kill the thing, but yeah. Um, but I'm going to kill him off there. Well, I'm going to kill myself off there, and he's going to kill himself off with double edge recall. So that was Fast Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you all next time.